In this example, we are going to discuss a uniform motion problem involving a rational equation. And we'll use factoring to solve. Caitlin went on a 56 mile trip to a soccer game. On the way back, due to road construction, she had to drive 28 miles per hour slower. This made the trip take one hour longer. How fast did she drive to the soccer game? Well, we can recall that with uniform motion problems, um, we use a specific formula, rate times time equals distance. However, with rational equations, we can rewrite this equation as either t equals distance over r, and this is when we want to find the rate. Or we could rewrite it as r equals d over t, and this is where we would want to find the time. In this case, we are looking for how fast did she drive? So fast means the rate, so we're going to go ahead and use this formula, d over r. So let's go ahead and make our table, r, t, and d. We have two categories, going to the soccer game and coming from the soccer game. The rate in which she drove to the soccer game is unknown, but we do know something about the return trip that she drove 28 miles per hour slower. So slower means we're going to subtract. We also know that it made the trip take one hour longer, meaning whatever time it took her to get to the soccer game, it took her even longer, meaning adding one hour to get home. The distance to the soccer game is 56, and from would also be 56. So setting up our equation using the equation t equals d over r, so we get t going to the soccer game equal to the distance, 56, over the rate, in this case, r, t being the time from the soccer game, was given as t plus 1 equals the rate, 56, over the rate, r minus 28. So we're going to go ahead, and our goal is to set the times equal to each other. We want to set t from the soccer game equal to the time going to the soccer game. We really can't do that right now because we have a 1 on this left side, so we're going to go ahead and subtract 1 from each side and isolate the time going from the game. So here we get t from the game, and the 1's cancel, and we're left with 56 over r minus 28 minus 1. Great, so these are our equations, and we'll set them equal to each other. So the time it took to get from the soccer game is 56 divided by r minus 28 minus 1 equal to the time it took to get to the soccer game, which is 56 divided by r. And now all we have to do is solve, and we can find the rate. 